Hi guys, we're eating breakfast right now. I'll show you what I have. So I usually have about two to three pieces of toast and I can already, I've already eaten some. And a glass of orange juice for breakfast. Because I don't really know how to make anything else, so that's what I eat. We've got sick Jordan, who has a fever, and which is not good because you can't get sick! No. Mm. So she's just gonna be sleeping all day, probably. I have to study for a test. I have an AP history, and then I have a speech I have to give in my English class. And I'm very nervous because when I go up to give like speeches or talks, I lose everything on my mind. Like my mind goes blank. So I'm not looking forward to this, but my topic is about Chick-fil-A versus McDonald's. So you guys vote up in the poll above. Would you prefer to eat at McDonald's or Chick-fil-A? And in the comments down below, tell me which one you picked and why. We decided that we're moving our entire filming studio from downstairs into our guest bedroom. Let me show you. So as you can see, we have one of the stands set up here. And like, that's going to go on the stand. That's our backdrop. And this is going to be the closet where we store everything in. This was our guest bedroom, so that's why there's like so many pillows and blankets. But now it's going to be the filming storage. And then there's the bathroom. So we already have this brought up here and out in the living room we have all the lights and the camera equipment that are going to go in the other room but we have to like minimize the space as much as possible so we can fit everything in. But let me show you everything that we have to put from downstairs up into that room. We're putting all this upstairs. This is our second screen, the screen that we usually use. And we have to fit these tables and chairs, all of it upstairs. And then we have this crazy mess that we have to organize and put upstairs because all of this is our videos. Like these are all the stuff we have for future videos or anything that we're just storing. So we're gonna organize that and put it upstairs. I'll show you it once it's done. Okay, so we have everything moved from the basement up into our guest bedroom. And I'm gonna give you a new studio tour. So, let's do it. So you walk in, and here is the frame of where we do the background and our table and our chairs. We have some boxing gloves in the corner, and some studio lights and the camera, and there's mom snipping the plant. <laughs> Getting rid of the dead. And then here is our wonderful organized closet. So up above, that's where all of our spare guest bedding is, but everything else is for YouTube. So here we have extra cords, we have like just boxes and like storage stuff, like clothes up there, and then we have all these items that we've used in previous videos before that we can use again, and our table equipment, our lights, a steamer because sometimes our sheets get wrinkly. Um, and then over here are stuff that we still need to film. So now we have it all here and organized and know that what we, and know what we need to get done for the future. So I think it looks great. Nice. I think we did a good job and there's our extra chairs. It looks a lot better than our other the w other way we had it set up because now we know where everything's at and it's all in one place and organized. So good job. Well, it looks like this is the new filming room. So ever since I did my mad scientist video on my channel, Jacob has been wanting to do lots of science experiments. So we're pulling out all the beakers and stuff and we're gonna do some experiments. Yeah. One. Okay, so we have all of our little cylinder things and we have a lot of things from the science kit. So we have Insta Snow Powder, we have Orbeez, we have this, fake ice stuff, we have water gel, and we have super absorbent crystals, and it also comes with a little measuring tool, and a, like, another one of these blue cylinders, water. but blue we put blue water in this last time we played with it, and it comes with this little squeezer dropper thing. Yeah. So, we could either follow it by the instructions and do some of the activities that it's on here, or we could just mess around. 
Look what I found for you. I found you some grow snow <laughs> and some color bath pills. Yay, now we have double grow snow. And then we can use this lightning gel that we were playing with the other day. Just try not to use it all up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I say we mess around with it some and then we do some of the experiments that it tells us to do. So what What in the world? I don't know. Wait, put it in the water, put it in the water. It's like cotton candy. Okay, put it in the water. I put it in. Not even? How's it supposed to? I'm so confused. Sure. It's not dissolving. <laughs> What? This is weird. What is that experience? Wait, all of the color just went out of it. Now it's just cotton. Oh, no. You're not supposed to put the cotton in. There's little tablets. This it is, is just to... <laughs> <laughs> this is just to, like, prevent it from, like, going everywhere when you first open it. And then there's all the tablets underneath. Right there. Oh. That explains. So there's big and little tablets. Look. It's blue, so it won't do anything. Wow! What? That's pretty cool. Wait, this is super dark blue water. Oh man, it's gonna build up a lot of pressure under there. Wonder okay, how much? It's hot. The glass is hot. I can smell it too. That stinks. Okay, Ed. Ooh, now we have blue water. <laughs> yeah. Dark blue, actually. Now okay. what happens if you add snow to it? Yeah, let's add some snow, guys. Will it be blue snow? That's water gel. We have to do the snow. So the snow we're going to take go some white. of the snow powder, and we're going to see. What do you think? Do you think the snow will go white? Um, the snow, this? Yeah, or will, it stay, or will it be white or blue? blue? No, Jacob, we're using this. No, Jake. I just blue or white? Um, let's, I just want to put a little bit of this in. Just, what do you think will be, blue or white? Probably blue. Let me take this. Um, I'm taking this bit. I'm taking some of, some of it, the bits Here, out. just go like this. And now we're going to put in the Insta-snow. We're dumping snow everywhere. Here. Here's the snow. Blue, knew it. Oh man, it's growing! Guys, what even? You might need some more powder. The white snow is taking up everything. The water, it's colder, it's colder. It's cold? Snow, oh, man. It is colder. Okay, let's use this to stir it around. Hmm. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, that feels so weird. All blue water used up. It feels like fluffy. Feel it. Ooh, it stains your fingers blue though. <laughs> hey, that's why I make it that much. Now let's add some um, of Jake's experiment. Okay, go ahead. Now let's add some I put a mint, I put one of these things in it, and Jake, now it's making that yellow splotch. Can you do a drop again? Okay, I see some more. Yeah. Jacob, what are you doing? I'm gonna make some smell. Some room freshener. A so, freshener. what did you take here? Uh, Z breeds. Z beads? Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? Make it an air freshener. Okay, so you've got this scent. What is it called? Monkey farts. That's funny. Okay, careful when you pour it in, don't pour in that much. That's enough, that's enough. So, Jacob put in a scent with the bees. And now they're gonna this. absorb it and it's gonna smell good. What did you make, Ty? Ooh, what? <gasps> Thought it smells. Well, it's already smelling good in here because of that. You know the dark water? I replaced it with the light water now. Awesome. So, okay, so the boys have been hard at work and look what they're creating. It's actually the exact replica of this. Black water. Yep. It's bubbling a ton, if you guys can see that. Yep, once the bubbling is cooled down, then it's exactly like this. 
And mom, what are we having for dinner tonight? We are making Jacob's favorite dinner, which is sweet and sour chicken. Yes, I love this too. How's the chicken, Jake? Good. It's my favorite. Yeah. It's always good. We have green beans, chicken, and rice. It's yeah. so yummy. And this will hopefully go in our lunches tomorrow because it's delicious. So the kids are home from school and I've started to actually get sick and come down with the flu like Jordan and Jake have. So hopefully these two don't catch up but they've got homework to get done. I'm working on AP history and Ty's working on, what you working on Ty? Reading or writing or something <laughs> and math. So that's fun. Our rule in our house is that we have to get our homework done before we get anything else done. In right, in watch. No, he's not supposed to be playing games. Yep, so as soon as the kids get home from school, their first job is to do homework. They can grab a snack, but then it's homework first, and then as soon as that's done, if there's free time, then they can watch TV or play games. Or film videos. <laughs> or film. So that's it for today's vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And for those of you wondering, Jordan is feeling a lot better now. She's getting over a sickness, but my mom has started to get sick. So I think the flu is spreading around our family, which is not good. Cross my fingers that I won't get it because I cannot miss another day of school. So I haven't missed many days of school. I just don't like missing because you have to make up so much homework and it's hard to do that in high school. So I'm really hoping that I don't catch the flu this year. Also, leave a comment down below one fun thing you did today or you're looking forward to doing tomorrow or this upcoming weekend. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!